All right, today on this 2008 Chevrolet Silverado, we're gonna install part number 90195 from Takansha. This is a P3 brake controller. First off, we'll go ahead and look for the existing towing harness that's underneath the dash. Most of the time it's hanging down a little bit from the regular wires, so it's pretty easy to find. We'll go ahead and point it out to you and then pull it gently down to get the wires away from the rest of the harness. And then we'll go ahead and install the wire harness from the brake controller. We'll go ahead and strip our wires back and then add our buck connectors. First off, we'll connect our two blue wires together. Then our black wire from our brake controller will connect up to a red wire with a black stripe from the truck. That'll be for our 12 volt power supply. And then our white wire will connect up to the white wire for ground. Now our red wire from our brake controller will connect to the blue wire with the white stripe. Now you will notice there's an orange wire that can also be used for a signal, but that comes off the signal from the third brake light. In this case, we're using the wire that is designated from the brake switch itself. And this is only active when the key is on the on position. And then, if all our wire connections are made, we'll go ahead and tape up the connections to secure them and keep them safe and out of the way. All right, now we'll go ahead and install our bracket for our brake controller. We're going to use a metal bracket since it keeps the brake controller closest to the dash. So there's an existing assembly screw at the bottom that we'll remove and use that to attach our bracket. Then we'll use another sheet metal screw that comes with the brake controller and we'll attach that into the plastic right next to it. Once we have it fastened in place, we can go ahead and take our wire harness for our brake controller and plug into the back of the brake controller. Then we'll take the two machine screws and attach them from the brake controller to the bracket. Now I don't have any power to the brake controller just yet, so I need to go underneath the hood. Now we'll look for our power supply wire right next to the junction box between it and the inside fender wheel. We'll use a piece of wire shaped into a hook to help pull it out and away. With the junction box uncovered, we'll go ahead and attach it to one of the studs beneath the cover right in the front. We'll hook it up to the matching stud and then install a nut. Now this nut does not come with the vehicle, it has to be purchased separately. The nut we're using is part number 185917. This is a 10 millimeter nut. Okay, we'll go ahead and tighten it down. All right, we'll go ahead and check out our brake controller. And you can see it displays a sign that says, no trailer connected. So it definitely shows us we have power to the brake controller. Now I'll go ahead and plug in a trailer and you can see how it's connected. We'll go ahead and move the manual override to make sure that works and it shows voltage. We'll also hit the brake pedal. We should get around two volts. And we won't get much more than that because the truck is not moving. Looks like everything checks out. So that'll finish it for our install, part number 90195, the P3 brake controller from Takancha on our 2008 Chevrolet Silverado.